Hello and welcome to JHEP's lesson on shell sort, in which only AQA students do. Poor them. Um, the thing about shell sorts is that it's actually a bit difficult relative to shuttle sorts and bubble sorts, so you might want to have a little practice as well. So going over the terminology here, which I've done so in bubble sort, we just got comparison, swaps, pass and terminating. We're just going to quickly move on from that. If you want to look at the terminology, please pause the video. So the question, bang on straight to the question. Place these numbers in ascending order using the shell sort. So what you do is you count how many numbers there are in that list. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six lists, um, six numbers in that list. And then you want to break that down into sub lists. So what you do, you divide six, because that's how many numbers there are, by two. Okay, we usually have an INT there. And that would make three. So that would make three sub lists we need to create. So what we're going to do, we're going to write it in three sub lists. So let's say this is the first sub list, this is the second sub list, and this is the third sub list. So we've got one, eight, four, six, two, seven. Okay, easiest way to remember it. Um, you always go down diagonally when you're writing down the sub lists. Remember, don't don't compare like the first and second one, and then the second and third one because that's kind of like bubble sorting in the first place. So you write down um, you write down the numbers diagonally going down. Now, what you do, you use um, bubble sort or shuttle sort or whatever you want to call it to compare the numbers on the sub lists. So we are going to compare these numbers here, these numbers here, and these numbers over here. One and six, that is in ascending order. So that's that's done. That's good. Eight and two, that's not in ascending order. So we can swap that around. And I can't because I've, writ I've written there. So we can swap it around. So there you go. Two and eight. And four and seven, that's in ascending order. So in total, we have one, two, four, six, eight, seven. As you can see, that is still not in correct order. But what we've done here, we've made three comparisons and one swap. So you might want to write that down. Three comparisons and one swap. Okay, um, the reason how I got this is because what I've only done, what I've done here is I've just split it into uh, sublists and I've just basically done this. I've basically swapped the two here and the eight over here. That is basically what I have done. Okay, so we've got the numbers here one, two, four, six, eight, seven. That is still not in correct order and the computer would not would know that as well. So what we need to do is we need to um, we need to divide this by two to create another sublist. We should call it the sub sub list. So we've got the int um, three over two. That makes one point five. But you, th the best thing about shell sort is that you don't need to um, you don't forget about the decimal point. Forget about it. So it's just actually one. Oh, isn't that great? Then all you need to do is shuttle sort the rest. Is that not easy? And shuttle sorting, you compare, um, you compare the first two. So this is in order. So that's first pass. First pass, there was one comparison, zero swaps. The second pass, two and four, that's in ascending order. Remember, if you don't really get it, you'd um, it'll be great if you go over a shuttle sort. Um, we've only done one comparison, zero swaps. Third pass with six, four and six is in um, 
is in ascending order. So we've done one comparison, zero swaps. Um, fourth pass is six and eight. Um, obviously, that is in that is in order, ascending order. So we've done one comparison, zero swaps. And then one, two, three, four, fifth swap. The fifth one is eight and seven. That is not in ascending order. So you swap it around. I'm just going to write it out for the heck of it. Six, seven, eight. And then we look at these two numbers because remember this row has changed the numbers now. So we have to compare these. So six and seven, that's fine. And we all know that's fine. So we've done two comparisons and one swap. So in total, all we've done is one, two, three, four, six, nine comparisons and one, two swaps. And if we wrote them, um, if we plot that in our shell sort, the number of comparisons was. Oh, right. nine, and the amount of swaps was oh, drum roll, please. It was two. So quite obviously, the shell sort is the most efficient one, taking the least amount of time and the least amount of swaps. Okay, bubble short being the least efficient. Look how many comparisons there are. Twenty, ridiculous. Anyways, that is it for shell sort. All you just need to remember is that you divide um, the, the list number by two to get your sub list. And then if needed, you divide it again and again and again until you get to one. When you get to one, you do shell sort and um, you do shuttle sort. Um, if all those intermediate numbers, so for example, um, for example, 6 divided by 2 equals 3, we use this, this way, we use the shell way. Yes, and when we get to 1, we use the shuttle way. And that is it for shell sorts. Simple.